Hello everybody, it's Great on 95 and we are back for more Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. So last time we uh, we learned that we got some SL9 instant files and he's asking Emma why, so let us check these out. Files for the dra dark killings, dark, makes sense, solved two years ago. SL9 incident. Uh, incident number SL9 closed. Criminal Joe Dark. Crime serial murder. Sentence death. Victims Edward Jones, Jason Knight, Edith Kirby, Rachel Moss, Jeb Bates, Neil Marshall. Remember that. Trial data Head prosecutor Miles Edgeworth. Witnesses Lana Sky, Emma Sky. Oh. Investigation task force Executive investigators Damon Gant, Lana Sky. Head investigators. Bruce, investigator Bruce Goodman, investigators Jake Marshall, Angel Starr. So, why is your name in here? What? My name's in there? I don't know, unless. No, it couldn't be. Lana, this SL9 incident, is that. That's the classification number the police filed it under. Two years ago, the rest of the world knew it as the Joe Dark killings. The Joe Dark. No. No, Lana! That's over with. No! Emma, wait! She ran away. Uh, you know what? I just remembered. I gotta be somewhere. Sorry, pal, but I'm out of here. Oh. Jake Marshall, Angel Star, Damon Gant, Miles Edgeworth. Not to mention Lana and Emma. Everyone involved in this case is connected to those killings two years ago. This can't be just a coincidence. Knowing you, you just might be able to figure it out. Time to get back to the trial, Mr. Wright. Best of luck. I'd better take a good look at this file. Oh, we already did, there, Phoenix. Don't worry about it. To be continued. Why didn't I end it off there? I always find that after... Uh, Yes! The little jingle is just so amazing. This game is so... If you don't have this game, find it and buy it. At this point, if you like it, just... Oh, just buy it just to say, Capcom, we love it. And then send Capcom a message saying, Capcom, we love Phoenix Wright. Anyway, the court will now reconvene for the trial of Miss Lana Sky. Emma didn't come back. Allow me to call the next witness to the stand. The officer in charge of guarding the evidence room on the day of the crime. Jesus, he's drinking. Witness, please state your name and occupation. Me, partner? Oh, I'm just a man, same as you, wandering the trails of civilization. Occasionally helping the elderly cross intersections when needed. Oh, I know, you're a patrolman. As for my name, if you listen hard enough, you can hear the howling wind calling it out. To be exact, it's Jake Marshall, your honor. Howling wind? I've never heard Edgeworth described that way before. <laughs> now, Mr. Marshall, let me ask you something. You were in charge of guarding the evidence room on the day the crime took place. Is this correct? According to the papers, partner. What do you mean? A desperado soul is as boundless as the desert sands. No paper can sum it up. I hate you. <laughs> Maybe it's best we get on with this quickly. Please share with us your testimony of the day of the crime. In English. <laughs> day of the crime. My job is to keep a wary eye on that bone orchard. Orchard? Orchard? Oh my god, the manor in me. They said I was supposed to make rounds three times a day, but that ain't my style. Besides, the room's protected by two security systems anyway. If I remember right, it was at the street side saloon at the time. I was at the street side saloon at the time it went down. I'm just an innocent traveling man, so if you're out of ammo, it's time I hit the trail. I hate you. I can't say I particularly care for your attitude. I can't say I care for your beard, but you don't see me complaining. Oh! Wait a minute. What do you mean by two security systems? I mean the security cameras and the ID card reader. 
I reckon even a cow poke, 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 cow poke, like you knows about those. Oh my god, my mouth. Yes, well, what about the fingerprint activated locks inside the evidence room? Fingerprint activated locks? What kind of newfangled doohickeys are those? He's not being very helpful. He's not that good with machines or with following orders. Everyone's got their weaknesses. Now don't they, Mr. Prosecutor? This one seems like trouble. Okay, Mr. Wright, he's all yours. Don't want. Don't want. Whatever. How exactly did you keep an eye on the evidence room? I just made sure nothing moved in the security camera monitor. That room's so still. Yeah, even time dies in there. I was just a caretaker who in there interred the recordings. You interred them? Videos of nothing aren't, at, aren't that useful. When the time would come, I'd erase the tape. If nothing unusual is recorded, tapes are to be erased every six hours. Each time I'd erase the tape, it felt like I was erasing a part of my life. This guy has a flair for the dramatic, but it isn't going to do him any good. So in actuality, you don't physically enter the evidence room. Yep. But you made your rounds on the day of the crime, right? Ain't you heard a word I said, partner? I told you that ain't my style. Um, I'm afraid I don't understand. No desperado I know lets rules get in his way. No desperados I know join the police force. So, Officer Marshall, on the day of the crime, just between you and me, I didn't set foot in the evidence room that day. There was a rubber glove stuck to the victim's locker. Do you know anything about that? Sorry, partner. Can't say I do. I haven't been in that crypt in weeks. How does this guy avoid being fired? I have no idea. You used to be a detective, so you're used, you've used the evidence room in the past, correct? Of course. Back in the day, my locker was a gold mine of evidence. And yet, you didn't know about the fingerprint locking mechanism? Sorry, partner. I ain't good with machines. I couldn't even tell you how a bike works. That's quite, uh, incredible. A bike? The sensors on the locker handles cannot be seen. It's well known that some detectives are unaware of their presence. Now that he mentions it, Detective Gumshoe said something like that, too. At any rate, it doesn't seem that this is relevant to the crime. Can you tell us what you were doing when the crime took place? Street sides. Where the heck is that? What were you doing in a place like that? I was eating spaghetti. Not even Angel Steak lunches can beat the parlor's Vongol Sepia Pasta. Do you mean to tell us you abandoned your police duties to eat some noodles? Not at all, Desperado. Not all Desperados eat tacos, partner. What the heck? I eat tacos. <laughs> That's not what I meant. I hope this has at least taught you a lesson. That's strange. This is usually where Edgeworth says, "Did you not want to raise? Did you not want to raise this year?" <laughs> How can you talk and drink at the same time? Out of ammo, Officer Marshall. That's right, partner, or as you'd call it, evidence. If you plan to pin me to this crime, you'd better draw, then you better draw. Otherwise, you're just wasting my time. My steel horse is awaiting to carry me back west to the sunset. Hmm, one thing seems clear. Despite being responsible for guarding the evidence room, the witness doesn't appear to have seen ev anything. Texans don't take orders from anyone. Everyone knows that. Apparently, your superiors don't. Okay, I have a trump card up my sleeve, so I'd best keep my cool. Before I use it, though, I'd better up the ante. Okay. Um. Present. I don't think so, because you were the- Officer Marshall, doesn't it strike you as odd? That is- you being called in to testify like this. After all, you weren't in the security room at the time of the crime. 
And yet you drag me down here. Explain yourself, partner. I hate you. That's what. <laughs> it's quite simple. You left a very large trail behind at the scene. Or to be exact, a handprint. Hmph. <laughs> Listen real good, partner. Like I said, I'm the caretaker of that crypt. I'd, I pay my respects. That is, make my rounds about once a month. <clears throat> it's only natural my fingerprints would be in there. <coughs> Excuse me. I only wish it were, officer. Officer? What the heck? But you see, your fingerprints were covered in blood. Witness, what's the meaning of this? Your blood-stained fingerprints were at the crime scene? The blood was wiped away. However, a luminol test clearly revealed this. Well, Officer Marshall? It seems to me there ain't a person in this room with a head on his shoulders. I take it you have an explanation then, Officer Marshall? About the blood-stained fingerprints? Very well, you may begin your testimony about your fingerprints. Found at the scene of the crime. Bloodstained fingerprints. Can you believe this game is on the DS? This is such a good game. <laughs> I'm just saying. Like I said, it's only natural for my fingerprints to be in the e that evidence room. One of them just happened to be at the same place as the bloodstained handprint. The murderer touched the locker where my fingerprint was by chance. The bloodstain and the fingerprint are completely unrelated. Or didn't you know the murderer was wearing gloves? See? I had nothing to do with it. How did you know that he was wearing gloves, sir? Uh, something about the witness's explanation being valid, although there's room for doubt. Life wouldn't be fun without any doubt, partner. The defense may now cross-examine the witness. This guy's hiding something, and I can feel it. Now's my chance to prove it. Well, duh, he just said that the murderer was wearing gloves, and nobody said anything about him wearing gloves. Just press everything, just in case. That's because you, how did you put it, pay your respects once a month? Like a, <clears throat> yeah, that's right, that and one more thing. That locker happens to be mine. What? What do you mean? I mean what I said. That's the locker I used when I was a detective. The locker I still use. All that's in there now, though, is a heap of broken dreams. I see. It'd be strange if my prints weren't all over that locker. Apparently his fingerprint data was never changed. He must have been using the fingerprint lock without even knowing it. Okay. See, pressing everything has its benefits. So then, what about the bloody handprint? Wasn't mine, it's no mystery. Please explain. My locker is covered with my fingerprints. It just so happened. The murderer touched the locker with my fingerprint left. The chances of that happening are a million to one. On the contrary, one could argue just the opposite. The chances of that not happening are a million to one. Get one thing straight, partner. You ain't gonna get no reward from me with a mere fingerprint. You wanna know why? Man. Unrelated? They're as different as night and day. Kinda like cereal and cereal. One's gotta do with breakfast while the other's a type of murder. What the heck? He's right, although seemingly alike, they're totally different. I don't see why homonyms have nothing to do with this. Um, that right there, that statement. How do you know that? I may be a loner, but I still do my job. I keep up on the reports. There was a blood stain at the scene thought to be left by the murderer. That's right. It was found on Detective Good Gumshoe's locker. However, no fingerprints were detected on this handprint. On that hamper. Oh yeah, I think we tried that too. Hmm. So that would mean the murderer wearing gloves happened to place his hand on the top of Officer Marshall's fingerprint. That's the only logical conclusion. Are you starting to get the picture, partner? The picture? The seal of blood. 
In the desert, it's just food for the buzzard. It's a buzzard, so. Metal Gear. There's only one reality, and that's this. The security tape. So long as my tra trail isn't in there, you can't say otherwise. This isn't getting us anywhere, Mr. Wright. Please consider carefully where you're going to with this cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. Now then, continue your testimony, Officer Marshall. Too bad it wasn't me in the video, right, partner? Hold up. Let me see this video. Check. I want to see something, okay? Oh, you can't see the locker? What? 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 No blood. I can't tell if he's wearing gloves or not. Meekins. Still no blood. Ah, it hurts. Blood on all over his coat. No blood. No blood. Um. Whoa! There it is. Did you see that? Cause I saw that. Shit. Well, I'm gonna lose one here. Uh, it does? I don't see anything contradictory. Huh? Really? Objection overruled. Try to think before you make accusations, Mr. Wright. Whoops. That didn't go so well. Okay. Let us save before I do that again. That's my first time I'm actually going to keep that. Okay. So anyway, next time, I will uh, accuse Officer Marshall of stuff. So I will see you guys then. Bye for now.